All right, y'all, it's a continuation of um, the pick a pile reading that I just uploaded. This is part two, you guys. This is um, the last message was send me a sexy pic. So if you are getting this message, honey, baby, it's a no. This person is a straight up player, okay? Um, this person is not serious. Remember, we got the cards entanglement. Cheater affair. I'm telling you, this person is either married or in a relationship with somebody. Then we also have man eater this person is dominant and manipulative okay so let's continue on and see what other messages we got we have travel trip going away this person may even be the type to try to get you to meet to meet up with them be careful of that be careful of that and ladies specifically if you're watching this video please be safe when it comes to um, meeting people on the internet people that you don't know remember stranger danger mm -hmm. the thing that we teach kindergartners yeah also this person may travel for work that could be a thing too like they're always out and about this person likes to be out on the the scene like mm -mm. we have invitation offer yeah this person may offer you um like i said this person may offer to like meet up somewhere or want you to meet at their house or whatever the case may be it's a no for me we have <laughs> we have hypnotized, hypnotized, magic in the pants. Yeah, because this person, this is what they're planning to do. This is what they plan to do. Y'all, don't let the dick get you. Don't let it get you. Don't let it get you caught up in a situation. Okay. We have winter time. Yes, it's getting close to cuffing season. You know, everybody want a little boo thing by the time it gets cold by Christmas, Thanksgiving. But listen, do not settle, okay? Male or female, divine masculine or divine feminine. If this is your story, it could be the punani for some of you guys. Like, it could be a female that's really throwing herself at you and she's really wanting you to go out of the way and da 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 woo, -woo, -woo. But for those of you divine feminines watching, same energy. This person is a trickster. The fact that we have man eater dominant and manipulative here and the fact that we have entanglement here, this person is with somebody. They are trying to play with you. Don't let nobody play with you. We have choices. Remember, this person is not the last damn person on earth. They are not the only person. They are not the only option that's available to you. You can always block, delete, and move along. You don't have to put up with their shit. We have perfect pairs. So may other half. Yeah, your other half is out there. And this is just spirit's reminder to you that if the person is not in alignment with your goals and what you're trying to accomplish in life, they're not going to uplift you. Move along. We have intoxicated. Oh, there's the bar. We have drinking, feelings, drunken, super. This person could also have a drinking or an addiction problem. Just so you guys are aware, we have spring. This is someone new. Spring for me as a reader is new energy. We also have fake. This person is not who they really appear to be online. If you've met them online or if you've even had a couple days with this person, this is not who they really are. Spirit wants you to know, okay? Spirit is giving the tea, all right? <clears throat> so um, let's see what other messages Spirit has for you guys in regards to this person. Spirit, what are the other messages? Two of Wands. Spirit is reminding you guys to stay focused. Stay focused. What are your goals? What do you want in love? What are you trying to accomplish? Knight of Cups. Yeah, you might have romantic feelings for this person. And this person actually might have romantic feelings for you. But like I said, they're asking you to send them a sexy pic. And y'all just met. Six of Swords. Be okay with moving forward alone. Your peace should be your priority. And the Six of Swords is getting out of a, a, um, a potentially abusive. And sometimes abuse is in a form like an emotionally abusive situation. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, mm -mm. we have temperance. Spirit says to be patient. Be patient because the person that is meant for you is going to come to you in divine timing when the time is right. Um, everybody that you meet and encounter, mm, tower. The tower moment. Yes. Once you hit a brick wall in this relationship, the person that you're trying to um, vet and get to know, date, whatever the case is, and you realize and you come to a realization about the red flag that you're seeing, Spirit says, move along. The Six of Swords there. We also have the Page of Swords. Yeah, find out as much information as you can about this person. Um, get to know them, but don't become attached. Okay? Get to know them, but don't become emotionally attached until you decide if this person is right for you. Do you see what I'm saying? Three of Swords. 
Three of Swords. You might have to cut this one off, baby. You might have to cut this one off, especially once you have that tower moment where you come to realization, realization like, damn, this person is playing games. This person is only wanting sex. This person is only here for physical gratification. You might have to cut it off and cut your losses, five of pentacles, because they don't have what you need anyway. It's better, you're better off being single. Don't feel like, you know, like, oh my God, here I go back to square one. No, it's okay to be single. It is okay to be alone. Rather be alone than to be with somebody who's playing games with you, who's not serious with you. Yeah, five of cups. You might as well cut your losses now so that you're not having regrets later with this five of cups. You're not, you know, you're not out in the car crying because you got caught up in a situation. Yeah, because you guys are looking for a commitment. A lot of you guys are looking for someone serious. Don't let nobody play with you. Like I said, the emperor. Your emperor is coming. That divine, strong counterpart, that person who's going to bring balance to your life. For some of you guys, it could be an actual divine masculine. Seven of Pentacles. But Spirit says, listen, um, reevaluate who you're giving your energy to. Reevaluate who you're giving your time to. Is this person really worth your investment? And when I say investment, I mean energy, time, space, body, all of that. Spirit says it's also going to take time. There may be some delays, but is it worth it? Yes. Waiting for your divine counterpart is worth it. We have Ace of Swords. You're going to see through the bullshit very clearly with the Ace of Swords. You see the light bulbs going off. See how he's looking up? It's like, oh, now I see. I see what this person is on. This person has very little to offer. Page of Pentacles. Just straight up. Straight up. Thank you, Spirit. This person has very little to offer. With the Page of Pentacles, it's, it's, it's Page. It's giving toddler. Like this person could also be very immature. Pages are childlike energy as well in tarot. We have the world. This person could be at a distance from you. Like I said, they could be trying to manipulate you into spending, you know, going far to meet with them. Please step into your queen of swords energy and ask the right questions. Be nosy. Uh oh, who are, who are you staying with? Oh, you have a roommate? We were the roommate ones. Oh, you stay with your granny? Oh, okay. Make sure you get proof. Make sure you ask questions. Okay, and if they can't answer the questions, that's also a red flag. And Spirit said, keep your options open. Keep your options open, all right? If you chose pile number three, Spirit says, keep your options open because this person is playing games. So that was pile number three, my loves. <laughs> that was the amethyst. If you chose the amethyst, you'll have to see part one to see what I'm talking about. But just know that this person is playing games. So. That's been the Pick a Pile reading. Please leave a comment down below. Thumbs up the video if you enjoyed. And leave a comment if it resonates with you. And until next time, much love to you guys.